attached to that, there's a long flowing, like moving hair. And I'm like, <laughs> like pulling it off of her. No one is even noticing. Well, maybe they think like your hair is, they don't want to be rude. Yeah, I mean, I, I assume, or they don't even really notice her. Yeah. But like, to me, I'm just like attacking my knees. You think it's funny, but like, these hairs are alive. Like, one of them jumped off of my head and sat on my computer twitching the other day. Well, I guess I'd have to see that. You'd, You'd have to be there because it literally jumped off of my head. And it's just that... And then it was just like... I've been trying to bust hair since 78. You what? I've been trying to bust hair since 78. My hair worms have busted. Every time I hold them up to interrogation, they all... I showed you that one that was hanging out of my drawer, twisting itself into a crazy ball. I Remember that one when we walked in and it was hanging off the ceiling? Yeah, I mean, they get around. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> and when you do the laundry, they're just like woven in my clothes. Like hair is just woven throughout the fabric of my clothing. And there's like these like complex knotted like hair balls. Like it's so much hair. Like I never ever in my life had that in my laundry before. And it's been consistent across like three different machines, you know? Well, I imagine like the, because like you ever had clothes that knot up with the dryer washer, I think. I just, been, but it never happened before, Morgs. But you haven't, you know, when just clothes get intertwined, socks, you gotta like get it. This is different. I'm talking about like hairs. Like, right, but I imagine if there was like socks and stuff could not happen, but hair definitely could. And maybe it's just more hairs like. No, um, I've never seen hair woven through the fabric. Yeah, that's not really likely, but I mean, in a washing machine, like I guess it could, I mean, they're getting so jostled around, maybe. Yeah, but it's no. weird. I mean, it's weird. And I find hair like, like inside of the fabric of my clothes all the time like it's so weird a hair go through like a padded push-up bra yeah, before seen it, seen it. how the fuck does a hair get through a padded padded bra like it's i don't know that one like it's hard to imagine but yeah it's like it. does this have a razor mm -hmm. needle's edge right. on the end i mean so that's what's been pricking me well that's the thing it's like how does it do that no matter how you slice it it's like yeah. you can see that it's not a needle on an end so right so how does it how is it firm it was, enough like, some kind of prick like it's still like how would it do it like right so like that wouldn't explain it right way. there's really no explanation i mean i've seen it go straight yeah. through the only thing you can think is like i guess these things are more porous than you think compared to a hair's width like is the only thing i can think but how do they get worked through i mean it's kind of like yeah it must not be as hard as it looks is all i can say yeah it's a recent morgulans phenomena right no. you know that was not a thing well, i wasn't finding hair the reason i noticed it was because it was different you know i didn't have hair sewn into my clothing yeah. Nobody knows. I hear you. Something having to do with the clothes, though. These morgues love their clothes. They love to eat clothes. Yeah, you mean the ones that are made in China? Love to make holes in clothes. Yeah, don't you get you any made in China? We well, already know they got lead on. Yeah, they love putting lead in toys. Oh, they love putting lead on all over clothes. They, um, the thread or some, you know. Right, totally. So, yeah, like, basically, I'm just one big hazmat chernobyl site <laughs> you are yeah there's a lighter yeah um nobody knows what a lighter